All right, man. I got a question slash statement about federally recognized Indians. If they so-called themselves aboriginals, I don't know. Indigenous, I don't know. But then again, does an Indian mean indigenous or children of God? Um, how are you supposed to think about them? And at the same time, we claim them to be Aboriginal Indians. Um, and if so, could they still be our brothers and sisters? Just rape, put on reservations. You know how that shit go. Um, you know how invasion went. Um, and at the same time, it ain't no doubt. No doubt that majority of the Negro Indians out here I can say in the southeast, you can say islands, you can say Midwest, are Aboriginal Indians. What are we supposed to really think about the um those people? They claim they're federally recognized. Aren't they not still our brothers? Even if so, some traded, uh, sold out. Some of the same Negro Indians did the same thing, like the Buffalo Soldiers. If you look at the wars and how they went on, you can see that they put, they pitted Indians or Aboriginals against this. I showed you that uh, they pitted the Yamasee from South Carolina to the Tamukwa here in this same city I'm at, which they say none of them still exist, but that could be a lie. I said they took some 67 to Cuba and only 12 remained alive. We don't know. They say the same thing about the Aztecs. They say the same thing about many, but I'm going to tell you straight out real. We still here the real deal thick blood whether your blood thin or not don't make you less of a brother that goes with the same hold to all of israel we know we got puerto rican brothers uh i believe it's boricua or i believe it's taino they whether they still light-skinned or not the spaniards did a number of things the french did a number of things i guess the french didn't like haitian pussy i don't know <laughs> So I, uh, don't get offended, but, uh, yeah, about the brothers on the reservation, man, because we still got dark skin, friendly to recognize and guessing brothers who are Yamasee Indians, you know what I'm saying, but it's to, it, really, I see our anger, most of us that know this, it's from saying we angry because we not recognize as being existing. We should really just exist to ourselves. And then maybe they'll recognize from the outside looking in that we exist. It's like saying, hey. But we don't need them to be fairly recognized by them, man. We need to spread the word. Get affected. We know Farrakhan knows. We don't know why he ain't telling. Why he ain't coming publicly with it. Farrakhan knows. Majority of the brothers know. That majority of the niggas on this continent were already here. And so it's said that the that, um, Africans that came over here on slave ship. Now we know Africans came over here free will too. Not only to come and work, but to come and run some shit and rule some shit too. They just got booted out so from the Moors. The Moors and the slaves were actually the African Jews. African Jews. We have to remember that we are the ten tribes over here. And Judah might not came in totality. <laughs> we don't know if there were remnants of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi still roaming amongst uh, the ten tribes when we went off. And we got carried. Wait, I, hold on. It could be possible. Oh, man. Let's see the two ways that we got here. Hold on. We soft as hell. Um, the Assyrian captivity, but it said if either Moses went to India or he came to the America. Well, we know for a fact Moses came over here to this side. We know. This is found. We can... The way the brothers, check out my channel, man, for the brothers who's bringing it out, and it ain't no doubt them brothers came over here. But, um, 
that Moses passed through the Bering Strait? And who followed them? Seem like the Chinese. I don't know who they are. But um maybe the Bering Strait was the uh the sea that Moses parted. I don't know. I just thought that just came like a spark and epiphany, a bubble. Um but um back to my main thought, man. What about these Indians on the reservations, man? Do we reach out to them? Do we talk to them? Do we say what's up? Okay. At the same time, I still say we self-exist. I mean, just to correlate with them, but at the same time, they know this info too. God damn it. Plenty of these tribes got plenty of information to libraries of their own history if they are the people. If some of them are not, maybe some of them are, but with thin blood. And I won't say, excuse me. That's what that's what I say. Maybe thin blood. Not only thin blood, but just depleted of the melanin they had. Excuse me. Or certain tribes that were of that. Man, you know it was different shades of brown here. Different colors from light skin too. Because I got a great grandma so yellow. My grandma that's here, she just got from the hospital. Thank God she's doing good. Cutting clear all across her. Um, you know what I'm saying? Her grandmother, not her mama, her grandmama, so yellow. So, so yellow. So yellow. I didn't know that was. Damn it, hope she ain't had jaundice. She was that yellow. But, um, we still got brothers and sisters, man. Huh? That's what I'm asking. A question slash statement about these federally recognized Indians. And what the hell are we supposed to think about that? Because I know it's good the brothers and sisters showing images about us, but where they fit at? Because I have seen some lectures of Indians actually ugh, bringing it out about us being Negro. But not even Negro, but that's what we were changed to, the Negro. Just like Israel. Neither. You know that, Senate man? It's a crazy, crazy world. It's a crazy, crazy matrix, man. But uh, if they don't get you riled up and angered and impulsive, you're just soft as fuck. And um, I'm talking about even to you politicians, brothers that's on higher plateaus than us. How Michael Jordan, he can only feel how he feel, man. But at the same time, this whole getting with white girls thing, I don't know if it's good or bad. Most likely it's bad, man. Because the mindset for it ain't for what it ugh, you got that though these niggas is sellouts with white girls we got now we in a, a victorious position to even had this but once again back to the same topic man what's up with these reservation federally recognized and not only that but the negroes who are federally recognized in certain nations such as the Seminole Indians why they ain't coming out about this we know these were, there were wars where even the Sioux and the Pawnee was beefing up there in the Midwest. And even, like I say, with the Yam Sea coming with the Tamukwa, other great city that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? What about them? But once again, how are we going to say we got to exist? We exist. We exist. I know for a fact, I don't even, one time I was on the Egyptology trip, but now that I've grown and I'm into this knowledge, man, I can see I was riding the wave, and it wasn't nothing but some fanatical shit in my mind, and I had to think to myself, I didn't, okay, if I'm, a, if I'm into this Egyptology shit and I think I'm African and all that, I know I ain't fucking, I, I know I'm an Egyptian. Now finding out that brothers and sisters from the Americas were cooking across the world, I can say the transatlantic slave trade was backwards.